Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve problem 74 of chapter 9. Determine the center of gravity of the three-wheeler. The location of the center of gravity of each component and its weight are tabulated in the figure. If the three-wheeler is symmetrical with respect to xy plane, determine the normal reaction each of its wheels exerts on the ground. So the problem has two components. In the first component we want to find the center of gravity. In the other component, we want to have the normal reaction of the wheels. So to find the center of gravity, we have to use the composite body equation, where x bar is summation of x bar i, wi. Here i is changing from 1 to 4, because we have 4 components, divided by the total weight, 1 to 4. So... The denominator is the total weight, W. So we can find W by adding all these components together, which gives us 231 pound. And then we can find X bar based on uh, the centroid of each component. So if I write it here, X bar, I have the first component, 18 pound the rear wheel the centroid for that would be 4.5 if we add 1.4 plus 0.8 plus 2.3 we get 4.5 then the next component would be the mechanical components the weight is 85 then 2.3 would be the centroid. Similarly for frame, 3.1. And then at the end, front wheel, which we have the magnitude 8, but the centroid is 0. So this component is 0. And the denominator is 231 that we previously found. So x bar is 2.81 feet. We can do the same thing for Y bar. We have 18. The centroid Y bar 1 is given to us 1 1.3 plus 85, 1.15 plus 120, 2 plus 8, 1 divided by 231, we get 1.72 feet. That's the first part of the problem, finding the centroid or the center of gravity. Here is technically center of gravity because we are not talking about the geometry necessarily, but the weight. The second part wants us to find the reaction forces. So we need to draw the free body diagram. Here in this free body diagram, because we found the center of gravity, then we can uh, apply the weight where the center of gravity is. So I have two wheels here, so two NB and then here NA, and I have the weight, which the magnitude is 231 pound, and it's being applied 2.8 feet away. And the total distance here is 4.5. So in this three by diagram, I have two unknown, MB and NA. I can write summation of forces in Y and summation of moments to find for the unknown. So let's just start with the moment equation. I'm going to write it here. Summation of moment about point A is zero counterclockwise to be positive. The weight is creating a clockwise moment. The magnitude is negative 231. The moment arm is 2.8. Then I have my normal reaction is creating a counterclockwise, so it's positive, moment R would be 4.5. So that's the only thing that I have, only two components here. I have one equation and one unknown, MB would be 71.86 pound. If I write summation of forces, perhaps I can write it here. Summation of forces along Y would be zero. I have NA negative 231 plus 2nb 
equal zero. I found the value for MB 71.86, but the only unknown would be NA. I will find NA to be 87 pound. So I found the reaction forces that the wheel, the ground is acting on the wheels. 